Hello everyone and welcome to Cheesy Code. This is our last video of this tutorial series. We have covered various topics regarding the Android development. After this series, we will be covering some advanced topics in which we will be referring this series. So it's very important to go through this series before jumping to the advanced ones. By following this tutorial series, you can develop various apps like educational apps, informational apps, fitness apps and so on. So let's start off with our lecture. In a previous video, we discussed about implementation of timer inside an Android app. Now we will see how we can generate random questions for our math apps. So this is our blog cheesycode.com. From here you can read the whole tutorial series. So here you can see that there is a method generate question. It generates random questions for our app that we are developing. So this is very simple logic, simple plain Java logic. Here I have generated two random numbers and assigned their value into A and B. Now inside result variable, I'm saving the sum of these two random numbers. Now in our app, we require random questions in which we have correct results and incorrect results. So the above three lines will cater the correct results. And for the incorrect one, I'm taking a float variable. So it will give me a decimal value between 0 and 1. So I'm assuming if the value is greater than 0 0.5, then I'll create an incorrect answer for that. So that's how we are creating random questions. So what's happening here is we created two random numbers and stored their sum in a result variable. Now on the basis of a float variable, we will decide whether we have to create this question as correct or incorrect. In case the float variable returns a value greater than 0.5, then we create this question as the incorrect one and we set the result to some another random number which is not exactly the sum of the above two random numbers. So in that case the question would be incorrect. So that's why we are setting is result correct equal to false. And these random numbers and result will be shown on the screen so that the user can decide whether the result is correct or not. That's what our app is all about. So that's how we are generating random questions. Now we have also handled the vibration inside the app. If the answer is correct, then we increment the score with 5 and we'll show up the score on the screen. Else, we'll set the vibrator. To see the full implementation of this app through the code, you can visit our site cheesycode.com. Here we have specified step by step what all the things we have done. You can see the code, it's written over there. There is also source code present for this app, so you can download it. You can experiment with it and let us know if you have any query. So let's see what we have covered till now in this short tutorial series. So we have seen what is Android and what is its project structure. We have learned about activity and what are layouts. We have different activities in the app and there is a specific layout allocated to an activity. What are views, what are view groups, how we can arrange them. Then there's layouts, linear and relative layouts. We learned about placing different components inside linear and relative layouts, how we can design screen beautifully. Then there are intents, button click handler. We learned about opening a different activity using intents, explicit intent, implicit intent, we learned about those. Then we learned about Android handlers. If you want to execute some code after a certain delay of time, then we use handlers. If you want to show up an alert to the user after a certain period of time, then we use Android handlers. Now let's see the demo of the app that we were developing. Let's see the demo of Just Maths app. So this is our app. As you can see that there are three buttons. Button clicks for all the three buttons are handled. So if you click the share icon, it will raise an intent that is implicit intent to send a message. Then if you click the second button, it will open up the game activity. This is using the explicit intent. Also, you can see that there is timer running. And we have also handled the functionality of the buttons present in the bottom bar. So this is our third screen that we see after the completion of timer. Now from this screen, if you click back button, it will go directly to the main screen instead of going to the previous activity. This is also handled in the code. All the implementations are present in the code for which we have provided the download link. Download the code, understand it and learn Android development. So that's all for now. This was a small series for Android development. We will come back soon with the advanced version of this Android app development. So stay tuned, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for staying with us.